The prison a U.S. military nurse said Saddam Hussein was watering the plants in his prison garden and drinking coffee while smoking cigars to keep his blood pressure low. He pointed to rare glimpses in the last years of Saddam Hussein's life. The nurse was concerned with the former Iraqi president, whom they invited Victor during the years 2004 AD and 2005 AD in a camp near Baghdad. And he said, it was rare for Saddam to complain during his captivity. That orders were strict for him to do whatever was necessary to keep him alive. And that a colonel told me that Saddam should not die while in American custody. He said Saddam was being held in a cell measuring 1.8 meters by 2.4 meters with a bed, a table, two plastic chairs, and two wash basins. He said Saddam kept breadcrumbs from his food and when he came out of his cell he would feed the birds and water the herbs in the prison garden. He said he was a farmer in his childhood and he has never forgotten his origin, he added. He did not cause me any trouble, he said, and rarely complained. Saddam was talking about his habit of reading bedtime stories to his young children and how he used to give medicine to his daughter when she was suffering from stomach pain. Saddam did not talk about death and did not regret his regime. Saying that what he did for Iraq and saying that Saddam asked him one day why the American forces invaded Iraq while the laws were fair and the international inspectors found nothing. The 56-year-old military nurse said he was checking Saddam twice a day and said I wasn't really a threat I was there to help him and he respected that and when the nurse had to leave because his brother was dying Saddam hugged him, saying he will be his brother. Trial Saddam and some of his associates were tried on charges of genocide in the Dujail case, and Saddam was defended by Najib al-Nuaymi. The former Minister of Justice of the State of Qatar, Ramsey Clark, the former U.S. Secretary of Justice, the Iraqi lawyer Khalil al-Dulaymi, the Lebanese lawyer, Bushra al-Khalil, and the Jordanian lawyer Assam al-Ghazawi. Saddam initially acknowledged the court and challenged its legitimacy and said that the results are known and the meaning is clear. But later he began to defend himself and cooperate fully with the court. On Sunday, November 5, 2006 AD, Saddam was sentenced in the Dujail case to death by hanging for crimes against humanity. Saddam Hussein and a number of his associates were tried in another case, the planning and execution of the Anfal campaign, which claimed the lives of thousands of Kurds. Of the people of the Dujail Shiite area in the 80s and crimes against humanity. The court also upheld a death sentence against Barzan al-Tikriti, Saddam Hussein's half-brother. Saddam Hussein was sentenced to hanging despite what he had expressed during the court sessions of his desire to be executed by firing squad in the event of a death sentence. The ruling had won the approval of the United States and the European Union, although the latter had reservations about the death penalty, as it does not approve it as a punishment. The Iraqi Court of Cassation said that Saddam's death sentence should be carried out within the next 30 days. While the Iraqi presidency said that carrying out the death sentence does not require its approval. Saddam's lawyers had submitted the appeal during the 30 days that followed the issuance of the death sentence on 5 November, according to the provisions of Iraqi law. The ruling relates to events that occurred in the town of Dujail in 1982 in which Saddam Hussein and a number of his associates were accused of causing the death of 148 residents of that Shiite town after the former president was subjected to an assassination attempt. There.